Hi there chickens, if you're a returning subscriber, good to see you again and thank you for coming back. But if you're new here, then hallelujah, your destiny has brought you here. I'm Vanilla Chief and you're now watching Skill Sanctum. So before I get into this video, this will be my new filming location because where I was filming before is getting too hot because we're getting into the summer. Anyway, just had to point that out and now back to the video. So in this video, we are going to be using FL Mobile Studio to produce a backtrack for the song we wrote in the last video. This is a musical trilogy. Songwriting was part one. This video is part two and part three will be making the music video. And at the end of this video, you will get to hear the finished product. So make sure you stay till the end. And by no means am I a professional songwriter, musical producer, or filmmaker as of the present moment nor do i have a bunch of expensive equipment but i do know a little bit about making music and i do have a laptop and a piano so when you can work with what you have in your hands then you can call yourself a fine little chicken so i'm just i'm making messy so i'm just gonna share what i know with you chickens and hopefully it will help you or inspire you to make music now obviously if you're going to be producing music you need to have a good foundational knowledge of basic instruments like piano, drums, and how music works all together. But if you don't, that's okay. Maybe you'll at least find this video entertaining. So why don't we just get right into it and start producing the song we wrote. <laughs> So I am going to breeze through this relatively quickly and fast forward through some parts because it takes a long time to make a backtrack so if I broke down every little step then we would be here all day chickens and we want to see the finished product don't we so yeah let's just dive right in why don't we. So here we are we are going to click FL Studio, Studio Mobile, it's going to come up I'm just gonna wait for it to load. It's gonna ask for a tutorial. No, we don't want a tutorial. Let's go to new. We can do empty, start from scratch, or click a template. Let's do electro house. And here we have a empty or a template that has drums and different instruments on it already. Yeah, we got drums, piano, whatever that is. And then some extra stuff that I'm not gonna use. Now let's set our tempo. Let's do 123 beats per minute. That's what I'm going to keep it on. And now let's go ahead and get to work. Let's add an instrument. Super saw. Let's do super saw. Click it. Um, and then sequences. And then let's do pulsating saw. Yeah, that can be our main base. So this will be our foundation. So there are two ways that you can put music into your musical program. You can record it manually by uh, actually playing the music, but I don't like doing that because it's hard to keep time and I miss the notes. So I like to sequence it, which means you manually enter each individual note. Although this is more time consuming, it does give you the peace of mind that your musical production is actually on time and it's hitting the right notes. So that's what I do. So let's just do that. So now I am manually entering the notes that I want. So I'm doing G, D, E, and C. And there you go. And these right here are going to be our effects that we can add. We can make it lower, we can make it higher, we can add reverb, all kinds of different effects that you can add. I don't really know what I'm doing when I mess with this stuff. I'll just play around with the different knobs until it sounds like something really cool. So, yeah, that's how that works. I'm going to lower it. There we go. Now we got a better bass. Now let's extend this throughout the entire song. And let's add another instrument, Super Saw. Uh, let's do leads. Lead Super, yeah. And let's change the effects a little. And let's turn it down. And then let's, yeah. Yeah, now I'm just adding the notes in what notes I want. I'm copying and pasting because it speeds up the process. And there we go, we have our verse. Now let's add another instrument. 
Yeah, let's fix that. Because we hit the wrong notes, didn't we? There we go. Change the effects, move it around. Now I'm adding another instrument. Um, yeah, let's move that right there. This is going to be our pre-chorus. And our... Yeah, that sounds better. And now we're going to... Change the notes around. There you go. Now let's add our chorus. Our chorus melody. It sounds great. Yeah, it's a lot faster to copy and paste. That's what I'm doing right here. Our catchy part. Yep, more copying and pasting. And we just extend this. And this can just be a cool um, background music during our chorus. Yep, just to add more. There we go. It sounds pretty great. Change the effects a little bit. And there you go. That can be our instrumental. And now we're just going to copy and paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste. That's all I'm doing right now because it speeds up the process, like I said. So you don't have to individually type in every single note. My foot is really falling asleep right now. Alright, there we go. Now we're just going to add drums and we should be done after we do these drums. My foot is like really falling asleep. Like, really. Alright, we're just gonna keep adding these drums in. Uh, we definitely want the kick. Just keep adding those drums. Yep, that's what we're doing right now. We're just adding these drums. Every it's coming along, it's sounding pretty kitschy, eh? Don't you think, chickens? And we just keep adding these drums. We're just gonna keep adding them. Just one by one. Then we copy and paste it. And there we go, we're done. Now let's save it. So that we have our finished backtrack saved completely. High quality, of course. Let it render. And there you go, we have our finished song. Hot dog, we got it done pretty quickly, like six minutes, can you believe it? <laughs> now, let's move on. Now that we have our backtrack finished, the next step is recording the singing and laying the vocal audio over the backtrack. Like I said in the first video, singing is not my forte, so I don't know all that much about it and how it works. But I thought I could figure it out, so that's why I said, I'm gonna make a music trilogy. Before actually knowing if I could actually produce vocal audio and make it actually sound good. I knew how to do the backtrack, but I had never done the audio before. So I tried to record myself singing with my phone, and it sounded awful. It was pretty sad. I would show a clip... <coughs> I would show you a little clip of it, but I don't want to put you chickens to the same pain that I had to endure while recording it. But thankfully, I had some outside help for this special need. Ultra mega thanks to Jeffrica, the wise and musical super couple, for sharing their much better equipment and recording powers that I did not have to make my voice sound at least half decent. Jessica shared her harmonious wisdom, and Jeffrey downloaded our backtrack to his producing program and laid the voice over our backtrack, and just like that, it was done, chickens. They are singer-songwriters, so if you want to keep up with them, just click the Buay Music links 
in the description to follow them on Facebook and Instagram. So now we are about to hear our finished product, our fully produced song. But before we hear it, just one more reminder, chickens. This is a how to make music trilogy, not a how to sing trilogy. I try to sing my best to do the song justice, but you can definitely hear me go off key, lose my timing, and uh, whatever that is. So try not to pay attention to the singing all that much. Pay attention to the song. If you want to learn how to sing, then this is probably not the place for you, chicken. But if you're here to learn how to make music, then yippee ki yay, get me some jelly and call me a biscuit. Maybe you just might be in the right place, chicken. I hope this song gives you a little tickle. I like golden rings and bronze necklaces Till I met you, that's when Those cheap desires grew thin And now I'm right here, trembling I got you stuck in my head I can't seem to catch my breath Can't get no sleep past it Trying to get you off my mind Thinking about you all the time Dreaming of you day and night Baby, tell me there's a way To forget you, keep me sane Try and try, what can I say, baby? All the cosmos and their lights Baby, you bring them down to size I like when your hair touches my face Baby, you're the jewel of the human race All the stars dream
well there you have it chickens we have just produced ourselves a song together now all that's left to do is make the music video that is the very next video coming up so if you don't want to miss it make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when it is released you will be immediately notified if this video helped you in any way or at least was entertaining make sure to give it a like which is the thumb in the up position not the thumb in the down position thank you so much for watching and for your support i hope your skills have been enhanced your wisdom deepened and your curiosity tickled until next time i'm vanilla chief and you just watched an episode of skill sanctum